We're back. That was a nice little set. Thank you. I feel like more chill, relaxed mode right now. But, all right, cool. We're going to turn up in a little bit. Yeah. So, we are here with... Now, I'm going to actually let you introduce yourself because um, we know each other, but I didn't know a lot of things about you yeah. until I read the book. Mm. And... Um, I gotta say, I was surprised because I didn't really know what to expect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, I know a lot of ladies definitely can relate to a lot of things in this book. I don't want to give it all away because I want people to, you know, look for it, buy it. And um, definitely it's a good read because when I'm in, I don't know if I was just PMSing or, you know, <laughs> because I was in tears like by no. the end of it. Wow. Um, like certain parts, mm -hmm. it, it kind of just made me look at myself. It, it makes you look at yourself wow. and wow. look at your That's life. Good to know. So when you're, you know, because there's a lot of situations that I can relate to. Okay. Um, that were mentioned. So we're here with wow. Asia, um, the continent, right? Yeah, Asia, the, the continent, million. It's it's spelled million, but it's million. Million. I'm on a milli. And my last name is Miller, so it's yeah. mill. Mill. I'm on a mill. <laughs> Okay, I was um, so lost. I was like, okay, I don't even know how the whole name came up. Because. Okay. <laughs> Asia has the age on it, so when people see it, they, they're like, Asaya. They don't know how to pronounce pronounce it. Oh, so I had to add pronounced, like the continent, Asia. That's where the continent oh, came from. Oh, okay, that makes so, sense. Yeah. Now I get it, because I was, because the same thing, I was looking at your name, but I always said Asia. Mm -hmm. But the con now it makes sense because it I have to look twice like because of the way that it's spelled. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So, um, what made you write this book? Um, you know, uh, people are always asking me different questions. You know, I've been through a lot between like the record deal, between the hit record, between getting married, having kids. Mm -hmm. And um, most of the time when I come outside, I come outside, I have a good time. People are like, do you cry? Like, what's wrong mm -hmm. with you? Like, are you a robot? And I'm like, wow. Like, I've been through so much. But it's so many different um, questions I asked. And, and, and I, you know, I said, let me write a book. Because it, it's crazy how I, um, how I deal with my emotions. And I deal with everything head on. <clears throat> I deal with everything head on. So that's why I'm able to come outside and just have a good time. I don't, I'm not on drugs, I don't drink when I'm dealing with my problems, you know what I okay. mean? Okay, right. I, like, I'll do wine here and there, whatever like that, but when I have issues, I street on purpose, not do drugs, not drink, not anything, just so that I can deal. And a lot of people try to, they see the truth and they go, try to go around the and truth and right. avoid it. And, and that's why they're not, like, really happy. Mm -hmm. But I'm just, I'm the type of person that I, like, I, I'm hard on myself. And people don't understand why I'm so free. I'm free spirited mm -hmm. and I get along with people because um, I see things for what they are. It is what it is. I, think, I see things for what they are and not for what I want them to be. Okay. And I think that's what a lot of people have a, a problem dealing with and that's why I said, you know what, let me write the book because when I speak to people, it's like, it's so many different ways to look at life, mm -hmm. like how you want it to be, your vision of it, and actually what it is. So, okay. yeah. so I want um, there's a lot of people who don't know who you are mm -hmm. so I just want to give the people a little bit of a background um, I know you know since high school you were into music or pretty much all your life yeah. um, and you work with LL Cool J um, I read that I know you associate with um, SWV uh, Lee Lee. from mm -hmm. SWV so there's a lot of you know, great talent that Angie Stone was one of the first industry professional songwriters that we got a chance to write on um, work with in high school. Yeah, so I work with a lot of a lot of people. The guy who signed us, um, Max Goose and Roger Romain Max Goose is actually um he manages um one of the the young ladies who was on Empire. So he does oh, he has okay. a lot to do musically with, with that show, Empire. So hmm. um <clears throat> but yeah, I mean that's what I started out as a recording artist. Then I got a um, hit record, Mary J. Blige. I wrote Family Affair for Mary. Right. And um, so many in between. I did a lot of vocal coaching, a lot of vocal production. Me, 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 me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I can't sleep. No. You know, management, <laughs> putting groups together. I, I, I did, I, I've worn so many different hats. 
So, um, you know, I don't know if I can bring up certain things or if you want me, like, at the I mean, beginning you, you, of the book. You can, no, definitely ask. Um, if because it, if um, the, the thing that got me in the beginning was, you know, you said that you, you have seven, you grew up with seven yeah. brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you always had to fight mm -hmm. a lot for, you know, food, for everything, everything. you know. Mm -hmm. And, like, dealing with that kind of, you know, brought you to a place where you didn't want to stay on earth, I'll say, and you managed to get past it, and a lot of people, you know, go through those emotions as far as, like, you know, the whole suicide thing. There's mm -hmm. a lot of people, you never know mm -hmm. what they're going through, and next thing you know, you know, it's on the news, or you get a call, or whatever the case is, but um, one thing about you that I um, admired, um, you were able to kind of get past that, and music definitely um, was a big reason because you had a dream right. and I think a lot of times people forget you know I was a kid once I used to dream a lot mm -hmm. you know I used to dream a lot there's a lot of things I wanted to do but then you know well, what you, did you dream about well we're not talking about me well, well we know <laughs> was music one of you know music, music was definitely one of them and we had a sidebar conversation mm -hmm. and it's just funny because music pretty much to me is my escape that's nice. to me music is my life and yes. i can go i can go to a party i don't need a drink as long as the music is good club killer as long as the music is good <laughs> <laughs> you know then i don't got no problems he you know i think the first time he met me was at um a function and I think he could see because once he started playing the music, I just automatically turned up, like I got very happy. Mm -hmm. It just makes me happy. That's like the one thing right. that really makes me happy. Exactly. So, or, you know, I would look to as an escape or whatever mm -hmm. the case is. So I definitely, um, you know, could relate to the book. To the escape. Mm -hmm. Right. So um, other than that, you know, you talk a lot about relationships with your family, um, you know, personal relationships, mm -hmm. which all women definitely, <laughs> like we won't get too much into it right now, but um, one thing I noticed that everything, you put God first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I noticed that about, just about everything, you kind of like turn it over to God, and mm -hmm. um, can you tell me why that played such a big part? Because a lot of people really don't know God. Um, oh, okay. So that that's another thing of <clears throat> why I am the way that I am. A lot of people think that I'm just I'm this strong person, but I think I, I think I cry more than everyone. <laughs> to be totally honest, I'm not I'm not a robot. I'm it's God. It's like it's the God in me. Like literally, like I pray before I do everything, and that's what gives me the faith and the confidence to go out and just do what I'm doing without thinking about anything else. Um, I um I grew up in a church. But my church was very um, judgmental, so I didn't really take on to the religion. Mm -hmm. But I do know that when I when I did pray to God, I I, I got the answers that I was looking for. Mm -hmm. And no, like people ask me, is, no, he didn't come down and sit next to me <laughs> and tell me. <laughs> but you know, I saw the signs. You mm -hmm. ask questions and you have to pay attention for the signs. And I saw them vividly. And I think a lot of people avoid signs. Mm -hmm. You know, you see a sign or you'll see something that scares you like, oh my God. But I, when I see something, I pay attention to it. And I pray. And my, my like I pray about the crazy. I, like I pray before I do everything. I mean, one time I went 